Car's ready out the front. Good. Where are you going? Oh, I've just got to nip in, see my solicitor. Oh, why? Well, it's routine work. Nothing for you to worry about. Oh, I just wonder why you're not mentioning it. Well, because it's not important. Well, it'll only be an hour or so. Right. I'll tell you what, then. I'll ring round for a fairground for our reception, should I? Uh, are you serious about that? Oh, unless he's changed his mind. Look, if it makes you happy, she always gets what she wants in the end. See you later. Yeah. You're working late? I didn't get any better offers. How did you get on at the solicitors? Terry told me you were going. Fine. The charity seemed a bit in the dark about it. Did she? Presumably because you were discussing a prenuptial agreement? No, we were going over a haulage contract. I need you to sign here and here. But there is going to be an agreement, isn't there, Chris? Nope. Chris... How can you give up on a marriage before it's even begun? It's just insurance. Things don't work out. If you plan for things to go wrong, then they probably will. Look. Just put aside your feelings for her for a moment. Think this through like a business deal. It's a safety net. Not necessary. You remember how besotted Dad was with Kim before he found out she was having an affair? She was only ever after Dad for his money. And we both told him that, but would he listen? <sighs> how can I let her think that I don't trust her? If you break up, she'll take half of everything. Your properties, your businesses, your son's inheritance. If you won't do it for yourself, at least consider doing it for Joseph. <laughs> 